countdown, we take you behind the scenes of the making of the XM session with the Stellas, that's Brad and Mary Lynn, and newcomer, Ryan Lair. Now more with Ryan. One of the footnotes in your book, when it, <laughs> when it will be written, will be that, uh, that you took all the monies that you've had in your life at that point, and you put a billboard out in downtown Nashville, and you, you basically rolled the dice to see where that would take you. Tell, tell us that story. Yeah, well, I, I'd been going to Nashville for, you know, about three years, just, just songwriting yeah. and, uh, you know, meeting people, staying underneath the radar, kind of trying to develop myself creatively, basically. And uh, after I'd written about, you know, 300 songs, I figured, okay, <laughs> I think, you know, it's about Slacker. time. <laughs> It's about time I sort of, you know, try and uh, get myself out there a bit, mm -hmm. get some exposure to my music, to the music industry and, uh, and, you know, the public. So, you know, I had the music, but then it's kind of like, how can you stand out from the pack? There's such a, a vast pool of talent in mm -hmm. Nashville. So, you know, I started thinking, and I'm like, I need to do something different. So I woke up one day and I, and I came up with the idea to put up a huge billboard that uh, was a picture of me holding a note to Taylor Swift, you know, which... Uh, said, hey, Taylor, I love your music. Will you produce my album, Ryan? And it, uh, <laughs> it hung over Music Row in Nashville, where, you know, where all the music business stuff yeah, happens. Yeah, and yeah. uh, it was just my way of trying to do something outside of the box, be a little different, and uh, get some attention to my music. And, you know, sure enough, uh, I got some, some folks and some media, and Taylor herself, uh, you know, scoping up my music and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was just uh, something I did along the way. And, you well, know. I mean, so the moral of the story is, if you don't believe in yourself, who, who will believe in you, right, kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a big, uh, yeah, I'm a big believer in that, you know, you need to go all in on something. Yeah. Otherwise, why bother, you know? So I, I was like, you know, geez, I could do this and take, it's kind of a risk, you know, doing yeah. something like that, putting a big billboard up of yourself, you know? <laughs> but uh, I was like, you know what, I, I really, you know, my passion is making music and I really want to try and create yeah. a chance for myself to, to do this full-time for a full-time living. So I was like, why don't I just do something different like this and see if it works, you know? And wow. So, uh, well, and, yeah. and so far, so good. Yeah, I mean, uh, a couple of years later now, I, yeah. I'm, uh, I finally got my first single out called I'm Your Man, yeah. you know, at radio and on CMT here. And, um, I mean, it's been real exciting, too, and it's been a neat process. Uh, and it takes a lot of time, you know. There's a, there's a lot of stuff involved with, with putting this all together, but uh, I'm trying to just enjoy it along the way, and, and I think that that's what's important, is that you enjoy the ride, you know, and, yeah, and I'm definitely trying absolutely. to do that. Okay, more. CA for more details. Now, let's catch up with Ryan Laird. I started playing piano when I was about five, and um, I, I started to get the, the kind of country rock star dreams yeah. a couple years after that, so I think they, my parents realized that, and, and, that, and one Christmas when I was about seven, they got me that first guitar. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, I guess you could say I never really put it down So since. They're, they're responsible, so it wasn't a big disappointment when you're saying, you know what, oh, I, love, I love the ranch, I love the cattle business, and listen, they're, you know, the cattle <laughs> business, that's some great business to be in, um, but mom, dad, Nashville's calling. Was, was, there, was there any trepidation on your end to tell them that, or was it just all support and they knew it anyway? They knew it anyway. I mean, yeah. I think it was, it was just always something that all the family knew was that, yeah. uh, hey, you know, Ryan is, uh, music is his thing, right. you know, and uh, I just, I'd always be practicing and playing, and <laughs> it was probably like around age 12 when I started kind of going out to local fall fairs, oh, yeah, okay. beef barbecues, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, local events. You know, I, I'd, I'd written my first, like, nine songs, I think, and I made a little CD at a local uh, basement studio, you know, and it wasn't very good, really, but... Uh, it sounds like the stuff <laughs> Cameraman Dave and I do <laughs> in his basement. It's awful. Oh, it's well. horrible stuff. <laughs> Won't get us anywhere. My parents would drive me around, and my siblings were in the band at that point. My brother's still my drummer. Now. Oh, yeah? He, he played with me at the, uh, you know, he's playing with me this summer at all my, really, my eh? shows and stuff, but uh, my sister used to play keyboards in the band, and uh, they'd drive us around in the old early 70s motorhome and, yeah. and that my grandparents, you know, gave us. And, and we'd, uh, we'd go around everywhere and, and just play these shows on weekends. And we did that for a few years for our teens. And uh, you know, it was all good musical training for me. And I also yeah. learned how to kind of, you know, a lot of aspects of the music industry sure. that way. How to, how to perform live and yeah. how to record and write songs yeah. and how to, how to get on the phone and see how to kind of book your own shows yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I think that's all helped me today, you know, wow. to kind of have a little bit of, of experience in that stuff. You had a family band. How cool is that? Yeah, we, we did. Yeah. Yeah. You're like the Partridge family, but, oh. <laughs> but cleaner. So, Ryan Laird. All right, let's catch up with our good friend, Ryan Laird. With the song, I'm Your Man, I get a lot of... Um, feedback on that because I, I wrote it from a personal experience right. uh, that happened with my brother. 
Um, okay. So uh, he'd been dating a girl named Shannon all through high school. <laughs> you don't have to name her name, but hey, Shannon, what's going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah, hey, how you doing? What's happening? <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates You're this. You're on the radio. I'm, I'm giving their whole life story here. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so uh, he, I, I started going to Nashville to do these songwriting trips. And uh, I came back home to Fergus, Ontario, from one of the trips. Uh, after, uh, you know, being down there, making these trips for a couple of years. And uh, my brother had gone off to college around the same time I started going to Nashville for songwriting. And, you know, he uh, broke up with Shannon at that point. So it had been a couple of years had gone by. And I came home, and he says to me, Ryan, I, I made a big mistake. I, you know, I, I never should have broke up with Shannon. What? What? Uh, what? I, I got to get her you're back. Bringing, you're bringing me in now to the story. <laughs> he what? Said, he's like, I got I to get her back. What, what can I do, yeah. you know, to win her heart back? So I, uh, I just looked at him, and I said, man, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, how about I'll write you a song for her? Oh, that's offside. Right there. <laughs> that's offside. That's... That's all, it's like it's like ringer, you know. You're bringing in a ringer to get the they're, girl back. They're totally gonna kill me later, probably too. But <laughs> either either that's offside or it's brilliant. I mean, it might be a little of both. Cameraman Dave, mark my words. Give it nah, 12 months, maybe 10, maybe 17, somewhere in there. Mr. Ryan Laird will be a huge star, and he will totally forget that he even knew us.